Why, hello there, YouTube! It is I, the Cheesy Cat, and now we're straight back in here with the C minus to S plus runs, Grim Blaster. Alright, coming back from our last video, this will be the second half of B plus, which will bring us up to A minus at the end of the video. Getting excited here. Alright. First match off, Rainmaker Camp Triggerfish. As you can see, this was all done on the same maps from the last video, just a continuation of the last one. There, I was paying attention to something else, so it took me a second to get started off. But I get, I get in there. All right, start off by coming in on the right, trying to see what's going on here. I got a sniper and I find myself two people already dead on my team and then we come back to get three people dead on their team so it turns out pretty good throw a killer whale right there to push anyone back and that person jumps right there holy crap that was one heck of a trade sucks that I ran into that splash wall I'm gonna jump right back into the action. This doesn't look like they've made it far in yet. Kill that emitter real quick. Another kill with the seeker. Should have killed that person faster. Alright, team's all here, but the other other teammates are already there too. And look at that! Someone else is running the Grim Range Blaster. Look at that. Oh my! And whoa! Probably shouldn't have jumped there. That car, the Kuroko Splat Roller, though. Right, most of my team's wiped out. Trying to get back in that action, just try and stop them from pushing too far. Random Zuka, though, pulled it out at the right time. They were also trying to get the Rainmaker, but they kind of failed there. Get that roller out of here. These players are playing pretty, pretty good. Knowing when to go back and stuff like that. Gotta back off when all your teammates are dead, of course. Just trying to pop it. Get in there. That roller again. He runs away though. Kill him right there. And I wasn't sure what was hitting me, but I see him and kill him real quick. And then the sniper there. Kill him. And the other teammate. And I'm not sure what's going on here. That roller drops down. And here I really should have got him, but ended up Pulling out an Inzuka just in time. Sucks. So far I'm just gonna jump right in there since it seems nobody's ready yet. But burst bombs come in. Real bad idea. Coming in the higher ranks I'm really gonna stop jumping so much. I've really only done it earlier in here because it's so easy to find a spot where you can just jump at. And that almost team wipe. Here I'm just covering up some ink, making sure there's nobody hiding around. I see someone jump down over there, so I kind of wait for them. And yeah, I get them. Wasn't sure why my team didn't come around this way, but really messed this up a little bit. Should have just came over this way. Look at all this ink I have covered up for them. Just for them. And they're trying to push it all the way this way. No one's coming over here. I shoot that to get a quick Rainmaker break. Kill someone in the process. Kill that blaster. I hear Ink Zuka, so... That's this guy, so I'm running back to try and get to that guy. And this guy won't die with a burst bomb, so I kill him real quick. I don't know what was going on there. 
I guess that was mostly because of the burst bombs taking too long to kill. And I kill them real quick. Don't know what's going on there, but someone jumped. This sniper just like, what the heck? try to kill him, but he's just not dying for some reason. And this roller comes back, and I swear I hit him. I killed two people, but nothing. My whole team is gone. And that turns out to be the first loss of this whole run. Sucks! I don't know what was going on there. What really killed us was the fact that nobody pushed on that left side when I had everything painted pink and then that roller just grabbed it and ran all the way. And he seems to be giving gr my team grief too. 22-8 to my 27. But it's fine. Looks like he leave left there. So obviously that put me a match back, which means I have to play another two matches to get back up to where I want to be. And that's what made this video a little long. I mean, the whole compiled video, because the recording was about 47 minutes long. Anyways, getting into this next match for Hammerhead Bridge. Team running in there dying so quick. Other team is ready to get this Rainmaker on. And then we got this Tri Slosher killing me. At this point, I'm just like, oh no, not another loss. But we'll see what happens. Kill that guy real quick. Kill that guy real quick. Try and get this Slosher, but he pulls out the freaking bubble. Half my team's gone, but the whole other team's good. They're gonna try and pop it. I'm just hitting come on to get my team to get in there. Wasn't really trying to die there. But I ended up pushing too far in on the greats. My teammates are just getting killed. This guy, Squiffer. Yeah, the Squiffer. I think he's the one that's kind of giving our team grief. Starting to see more people that are... Should be stronger than they think they are. But I killed two people with that Rainmaker. Because I know they were hiding behind that thing. Bad, bad idea if you're going to try and do that. At least with a Rainmaker hand. And then my whole team's wiped. This, this is really looking really bad, so I'm just spamming come on. Trying to get my team to get in there. Squiffer though. I don't know why fresh Squiffer though. Kraken's not really good for this map since there's greats everywhere. But, I mean, you really can play anything. Alright, you know, it looks like we're getting somewhere. Really just trying to kill all these people to get them out of here. And my team actually starts getting some kills over here. And now I'm getting up to the middle where I want to be, get some ink control. Map control. And I kind of jump in there, but the other team was already jumped in there too. And there. Both teams are getting beat pretty bad. No one's grabbing the Rainmaker wired away. This guy with the bubble again, so I'm waiting around for his bubble to finish. And I tried to scope him out, and he's not dead. Killed this guy real quick who thinks he can just surprise me to his will. I'm gonna have to aim better if you want to do that. Pull out the killer whale, grab the Rainmaker, and I start to do this stuff myself. Because sometimes that's what it takes. So I get a kill there. Get two more kills there. Wipe the team. 
triple to a quad. So yeah, I'm running this because this is how you play with the Rainmaker. Um, I guess I didn't get that slasher. I don't know why he's disrupting me because I'm just going to keep on shooting. Three down on their team. Going to run past the lead. Kill some more people with this Rainmaker. I really should have remembered the guy behind me because I did see him, but didn't really get him. But my team does a good job anyways, so I'm going to jump back in there. Going to cause some more mayhem for that other team since they want to be smart and play like they're so good. But no. Oh, looks like a salty disconnect right there. <laughs> Well, we were able to knock them out. Sucks for them. See, look at that slosher. Doesn't belong in B+. Come on, man. Squiffer definitely got some lucky kills, though. To go 3 and 10, Jesus. So basically, as these runs start to get harder and harder, we're going to start seeing some more smarter plays, and hopefully some smarter plays from my teammates as well. I think this is probably why B plus might be hell for some people, because there's still some people that are obvious really, obviously really good but just keep getting pushed back into B for some reason. I mean, but if you're that good, there really is no reason to get pushed back to B+. Plus. You really could just wipe the whole other team and then win. At least, I think. It's harder to tell in the lower ranks. Anyways, on the right side, two to fight. Kill the Rainmaker, whoever's there. Try to get a killer whale on some people, but doesn't exactly work out. I do kill someone for some reason. I guess a bomb pushed them around. Get two kills right there with the Rainmaker. I usually go on this straight when I can tell that someone's gonna come up right on me. So I get a kill doing that. And after we get all this ink purple, I'm gonna push it. My friends are gonna help me too. Try to get that blaster. Yep, I get him. But my team gets totally wiped by bombs. Come on now. We're better than this. Anyways, that leaves me by myself. And obviously, what else to happen? Someone jumps in, gets a kill, but really, it's useless to get a kill and die instantly if you're just gonna jump. I mean, unless there was other teammates around, there's no point to jump if you're just gonna get one kill. At least that's what I think. So here I'm just holding them back with blasts. It's pretty easy. And the Rainmaker looks like it's going all the way around that side for who knows what. Because he's, he's not going to be able to hide from me. Yep. Looks like my teammate got all the way around there though, so that worked out nice. Gets another kill from someone jumping in, and from here I'm gonna push in from there, because that's a perfect opportunity with three people dead. And from here, I like where the Rainmaker is. We get some nice directs right there. The enemy- I don't know why my friend there grabbed the Rainmaker if he was just gonna jump off. <laughs> but I want to keep it there. Because this is a nice spot for a ranged blaster to just kill everyone. Especially since the other team has almost no range at all. But my friend ends up grabbing it. Which kind of sucks. But I mean, I guess he can do what he wants. Would have been nice to just lock it there though. Luna Blaster gets me. I don't know what he's trying to climb up, but he pulls out a 
bomb rush for some reason. It looks like it was trying to climb up right there, but you can't get up on that side. And I come back to the middle, try and push some people back, get a few kills. Looks like people don't have the right specials or don't know when to activate it at the time. They grab the Rainmaker real quick, but I kill them real fast. And from here, I'm just like, hey, what's next? Killer Whale right there to trap some people. Friends are getting the kills, jump over some Seekers. I don't know what they think they're trying to do because they can't really go for any Seekers. The Directs are real hype in this round. My friends are pulling out specials too. And here I'm just like, what are you hiding there for? Bruh. But he ends up getting my friend with the bomb. Lucky kill, I say. So, I'm gonna try to knock this out right here. My teammates jump into me. Just waiting for my teammates to see what they can do. Waiting still. I was mostly waiting for someone to try to come at me. Just holding the charge so I can full charge that. And this guy's playing real, real baby, like not pushing at all. But it's for a good reason, and I tried- I was trying to get that person hiding on the wall. Pretty much all I wanted to do. And I kill that person, and go for the knockout. It's all about a waiting game. Don't have to rush in. Now here, I don't see how that was a knockout, because it obviously was, but we didn't get the knockout points. I guess it just ran out in time. Right now, no obviously good players out. So, I mean, not like the first match in this video. Must have left after he realized that I was a lot better than he intended to be. That was like two match matches ago, so. Moving on to our next match. Should be our last if we win. Gonna do the same thing where I climb up to flank. And from here I'm just inking up few spots. Trying to gain special real quick and ink a lot of space to stop silly things like the last that other match where I lost from happening. And from here I wait for the Rainmaker to jump down and kill some people. Yeah, some... the whole team. <laughs> Quads. Um, I was like, they didn't grab the Rainmaker? <laughs> but it was just being a little laggy. Let's hope it doesn't continue to be laggy. So we instantly take the lead with my help. And here I'm just gonna try and push some people away. Here's some Seekers, still trying to get some people to push away. I don't- Did you see that blaster? <laughs> he was trying to get them. There's- I don't- I don't know if they have that much range, geez. But they pretty much suicided. Yeah, look at this. Total destruction. Easy match. What matches should be when there aren't people who are obviously better playing. Just try to get out of B+. Plus. And that should do it. 93, yeah, there's no way the system can cheat us out. Look at that. 7-0, I did all the work. We got one kill from the brush. Good brush. I don't know. But here we are. A- minus out of all the lower ranks. And we're into the ranks where stuff starts really getting, you know. Well, not necessarily hard for me. But... We're going to start seeing some cooler matches. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, like it, obviously. Um, comment below if you want to talk to me about it. And you can talk about anything, to be honest. But obviously, if you like my videos or not, which I've been still getting more positive comments. I, I really like them. Keep them coming. Um, 
And as for subscribing, I have my notifications on, so if you're subscribed, you will get told when the videos are uploaded. So, yeah, hit that subscribe. Anyways, we're in the A ranks now, so I know you guys who are stuck in A's and stuff like that trying to get to S. These next videos coming up will be a good idea to watch if you need some tips to watch, um, get up to S and S+. Plus. So yeah, it is I, the one and only Cheesy Cats. See you next video.